Today's lesson we are going to look at chemistry, question 5.1, May, June 2019. We are going to look at empirical formula. Yes, we have started with examination preparation for our May, June examination. Let us start. This is the actual question paper. While well, question 5.1 says a compound used to boost the properties of petrol has the following composition 49.5% of carbon, 3.2% of hydrogen, 22.1% of oxygen, and 25.2% of manganese. What is the empirical formula of this compound? The atomic masses of um, the atomic masses are respectively carbon is 12.01. Hydrogen is 1.008, oxygen is 16.00, and manganese is 54.94. So we are actually calculating the empirical formula. Now, normally what I do, I tabulate my given data, and then I put all the percentages. Then from there, I start calculating. Now, you know that the first step that we need to do when we're calculating empirical formula, let's say you're given the mass composition in percent, we are going to convert to grams. How do you convert? We simply take the percentages to grams. There's no formula. We can simply say we change the symbol to from percentage to grams. And then from grams, we calculate the number of moles using this equation, whereby this is the mass in grams and then this is the molar mass. And then from there, we divide by the smallest ratio or the smallest number. We take the ratio of each and every number of moles that we just calculated here and the smallest number of moles from step number three. Then from there, we round off and then we are going to find our empirical formula. So this is what we are going to do. The first step, we convert to percentages, I mean to grams, by simply writing it like this, 2.1 grams and then we have 25.2 grams. Then from here we are going to calculate the number of moles of each and every element in this case. So it's 49.5 divided by, we are given the molar mass of this compounds, I mean this elements, you can see that carbon is 12.01. So we divide by 12.01. We do the same thing here. It's 1,008, 22.1 divided by 16.00. Twenty five point two divided by fifty four point nine four. Then from here we get that our number of moles is four point one two two. Normally I round off to three decimal places when you calculate the first number of moles before dividing. Then this one we find that it's 3.175 by the way this is small this one 1.381 more and the last one is 0 0.459 now we compare all this number of moves we can see that the smallest is this one so we are going to divide each and every number of moles by the smallest. We know that this will get 1. And then this divide by 0 0.459. We are going to get 3. When we round off to the nearest, we don't want any commas. 0 0.459. We get that we have 7. Divide by 0 0.459. And then our answer here is 9. So we can conclude that our empirical formula is C9. 
um, each 7, O3, and M, N, Y. So this is the empirical formula for our final answer. That's it for this lesson video. This is Rahula SJ. Thank you very much.